is you feeling me? If not, you feel my energy. See, I know I'ma make it, but even if I don't, don't feel bad. Cause honestly, all these times that I had, those will be the best memories. Be the best memories. I hope that you remember me. All right, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to TGTV. So, inside, we should throw a Lions team in there as the second team for the other conference. Um, anyway, I'm currently rattled because I want a good pick. I don't want another late pick. I just, I need a guy to build this team around that's like nasty. You know what I mean? Like we need a good centerpiece to start out with. And I mean like guys like Hassan Whiteside, sure they're good centerpieces, but I want a great centerpiece. I want a franchise player that is going to be the face of the team from start to finish. And um, I mean, hopefully that's what we get here. And after this, we get a little screen, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're getting the draft order. I'm just going to say my prayer quickly. Give me top 15 I'm happy with, top 10 I'm ecstatic with. And I don't see us, I don't see us. 11, I'll, oh my God, I will take 11. There's Harden, Russ is next, I'm gonna guess, or Curry. Yeah, Curry, then Russ probably. Russ on the Wizards, so I'm just like right about that. Pelicans get Durant. Davis. No, that's what I was hoping for, don't be honest, don't be honest. Okay. We got some options right here. We got some options people forget about. I think if you ask me, there's no pick more obvious right now than the freak himself, the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo. Give me that, man. Give me Giannis right now. Now I am hype. Let's go, bro. That is such a huge pick. I probably would have liked Cat more. I think you would have been, but I mean, I cannot complain right now. I am hype out of my mind. What young players do you have out here? Any, like, really sick ones? Brandon Ingram's not the worst guy if we want to bring him in the third round. Um, big trade value guy. We did already kind of pull that move once, though, so I'm not, I'm not in love with doing that again. But, all right, now we need someone to compliment him. We got Giannis. Jeff Teague, very underrated point guard, I think. Uh, he could do a great job for us. George Hill's also very good. Um... I, I, I'd rather go for an 80 overall who's young than try to force it. Steven Adams is a good one. Um, I'm thinking hard because I've, I've got myself set up now in a good position. D'Lo again? Hold on. Do we got like... I, I would doubt he's still here. I'm looking for Simmons. I doubt he's still here though. No, because he wouldn't be 21 now, would he? No. So Simmons is already taken. I might I might take D'Lo and just move him. I think that's the smartest thing I can possibly do right now. Um, I'll need you guys to comment down below if you want me to keep D'Angelo Russell or not. We just had him in the Huskies, but this could be the most like stacked team I've ever had if we can create this team correctly. Up next, uh, so we got point guard or, I mean... Uh, a placeholder point guard, at least right now. And we've got small forward, and they're looking for a shooting guard. Lou Williams isn't the worst shooting guard option, but I don't want him to start regressing. I don't know, though. That's actually, he's a pretty good pickup. I think Lou Will could be good, and his canter could be legit, too. He's only 24 years old. That is one of the craziest things. I always think Cantor and, like, Steven Adams are way older than they are. But I think Cantor's going to be my move here. He's got... Hold on, he's got kind of a crazy contract. That's the one thing that pushes me a little bit away from him. Um, but I think it might be worthwhile just because he's such a, he's a great talent. I mean, you can see uh, age-wise. Brandon Ingram's also still on the board, but I'm going to go with Cantor. Uh, I think he's a great guy down low. I want a player like him on this team. So I'm sure he went up there somewhere. Um... Brandon Ingram. There he is, actually. Kind of took a while to get picked. Lou Williams just got picked, so I think I made a good choice there. Markeith Morris, another guy that I think could be really good. Jeremy Lin. Um, just looking at who we've picked so far, we've got these three. Should probably look to get, I'd say, a shooting guard next. Or I guess a power forward couldn't hurt us. Um, Freed's a guy I pick up a decent amount. I'd like to go somewhere other than him. 
for this pickup. I actually think a really good pick right here would be getting um, Markeith Morris. I like him. I like the little time I had playing with him, and uh, I believe that was on the lines that we had him. So now looking for a shooting guard, no interest in Tony Allen this early in the draft. I think that would be insanity. Jamal Crawford, also very old. Trevor Ariz is not a bad pickup because I don't know what, what is his contract like right now. I know you can re-sign him in a year or two for like nothing. And we're more likely to be able to re-sign him if we already have him. But we could also go and just look at backup players. I think... How about young players, actually? Dragon Bender's not a bad pickup. Anybody in here? Any 21-year-olds are really good. I wouldn't mind picking up a guy like Dragon Bender. Zubok's actually pretty good. You guys with huge potential in here. Only 72 overall. I like the potential though. Let, let's leave him for now. I don't think he's going to be gone if we try to come back for him. So let's go out and let's pull the trigger on... Um, I think we weigh on the shooting guard thing. I think right now shooting guard's not the place to go. Bojan's really good. I'll take him. I like him as a backup for uh, Giannis. And, because I mean, hopefully we don't get into the situation. Ah, oh, my controller's dead, hold on. Hopefully we don't get into the position where uh, Giannis is injured. But, uh, I mean, if that happens, having a guy like him to sub in for a few games and even just off the bench, obviously, is huge. And we are back. So, Hurricanes, we're still here. We've still got a lot of the same guys on the board. Pat Beverly's actually my, I got my eye on him right now as the guy I want at this pick. I think he's a good choice. We do want to get a shooting guard soon, though. And I say we we grab Pat Beverly, and on this next pick, we take our shooting guard. We may have waited a little bit too long on that, but yeah, we probably did. We'll take Tony Allen, I guess. And I don't know how much longer Allen probably would have sat there. Probably a good amount of time, but... And we can even this out. Let's take... We should probably take a young player, somebody we can develop with. And Murray's gone. Actually, that's a that's a little bit worrisome. I wish he was still there. I probably shouldn't have waited so long. I guess we'll wait. Maybe we can trade for a young player if we want to. But then again, we've already got, you know, these three. So, not too worried. Yeah, actually, I, I keep forgetting we have D'Angelo Russell. I don't know if we'll trade him, but who knows? Good guy regardless. We've got our starting lineup. And so we're really just looking for talent at this point. Zaza Pachulia could come in and make a good impact for us right away, I think. So I'd say my move right now is either him. I really like Danny Green too. Bring in a nice shooter. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I think we should go Pachulia first. And then we can pull in Danny Green if he's still on the board, which he is. He's not. Okay. Jody Meeks, also a talented player. Can go. Yeah, I actually like that. I'll go Jody Meeks. I like playing him at shooting guard. And he can also he can play the three, which I like about Meeks. He's a good player like that. He's versatile. And so we probably want to pick up one more power forward, and then we can kind of search around for what we want. Power forwards on the board right now. Darrell Arthur. I have just like great experiences with every time I have him. So I'm going to take Darrell Arthur. I like that pickup. Let's see. And Spencer Hawes. It's great shooting. Uh, th uh, I want to say great shooting three point. Great shooting five. And so that we have two more picks. Let's go point guard here. Shooting guard. Sergio Rodriguez. Really good pickup. Like that. And we have one final pick. Who will we take? I kind of want to take OJ Mayo, just because, like, you got to love OJ Mayo. Perk, another great option. Who's the oldest guy in the game? Get some experience on this team. Oh my God, I even not know he was even in this anymore. Let's go, uh... This pick's so meaningless. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on it. We can get Jason Terry. I've liked picking up Jason Terry in recent uh, games and just like having him in there to have him. I don't know. He's a fun guy to have on the team. So we've got our roster. We'll take a quick look at it before we go. 
Um, I like it though. I think we did a good draft. And we can fix manually our staff. Staff's gonna be important to fix. We'll do that for this video too. 2017, of course. Could be interesting to try and pick up somebody like Lonzo, but make things more unpredictable, of course. I love doing that. So guys, remember to leave a comment down below what you think about D'Lo. Is it too soon? And if so, I mean, I understand that completely. I'm very excited though. We have our guy. We got Giannis. I'm super excited. Like, that was the one thing I was nervous about. Where do we sign uh, staff signings in here, I think, right? Yeah. I'm just glad we got our guy. I want to make sure we got something good. Everyone in here is fired. Oh my god. That is terrible. So, head coach, we've got some good options. Kevin McHale, we've had him before. I'll bring him in again. Kevin McHale accepts your offer, three years. And an assistant coach. Hmm... It's always a debate I have. I say we go with William Goodrich. I want a more balanced uh, team. I think that's one thing that kind of killed us last in the last series that our team's defense was not great. And we're just going to bring this down as much as we can and still be able to sign him. And he's in. <sighs> Cuba Gooding, need him. He's in. Not a ton of great trainers. I guess I'll bring in the guy. I only want him on a one-year deal because I want to try to sign somebody better. Assistant GM could be huge. This guy is nasty. Oh my god. Bring him in as long as we can. And CFO will get the guy with the A. Bring him in for four years. And we have got an exemplary staff. This guy's the only guy who's not incredible. We just gotta hope there are no injuries this season. That would make me very, very sad if we had injuries. Your starting lineup though, guys. Tony Allen at the starting two is probably the most suspect part about this team. Everywhere else, we look pretty good right now. Um, D'Lo looks awesome in that Hurricane jersey. I kind of want to keep him. We'll see, though. I'll see what you guys think if we should keep D'Lo or not. And um, next episode, we'll have a round the league, and uh, we'll move on from there, guys. So let me just sim a few games, see how this team looks to start out. Give us two and two. Mm, come on. One and three. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace. I'm out.